Hi everyone, so I'm back to share another journal with you and this journal is a vintage collage journal with an envelope flip flap cover. Um, I've done these before, I think I've got a video somewhere, I'll try and find it and link it below. If not, it will be in my playlist uh, called Let's Make or it possibly could be in its own playlist called Envelope Flip Flap Tutorial. <laughs> anyway, so um, I have used for this many different things and I will mention it all as I go through but I know I've used Artie Mays, I know I've used uh, the old design shop um, and like I said I will mention it because I can't remember right off the top of my head now. So uh, it measures eight and a quarter by five, it has one signature inside there and it has 40 pages front and back. Um, it will be listed in my shop if you're interested and the link for that will be below. Um, so I've just simply um, added this ribbon around there which can slip on and off because I'm rubbish at making bows. Um, this paper here is from Artie Mays and it's her CPR Torn on Torn um, kit, collage kit that she's recently brought out. Um, I've used three envelopes for the cover and you can see it goes like that. Um, <clears throat> so on the, in the first pocket these obviously are envelopes and I made the pockets. These are from um, one of Artie Mays Oddman kits and so is that Artie Mays a ticket kit and this is Artie Mays as well then it flips out that way and oh in the back in the envelopes there's tags so obviously this is the smallest envelope so the tag is smaller but they're all the same but just in different sizes so here we have another pocket with a the ticket there from Artie Mays postcard I think is Artie Mays. I think most of it is Artie Mays actually. I've been doing this for a couple of days so I can't remember now. Um, <clears throat> then here we have a corner tuck. This is actually opened there so if you wanted to slide something in there you can. Um, this is uh, Artie Mays and Tracy Fox. That was the tag fabrication collaboration. And a postcard and this is from the old design shop on Etsy. I might actually just pop that in there like that and again there's a big tag in there that one obviously goes to the bottom of that sized envelope this I have actually left open so if you did want to tuck something in you can do then here we have got a little pocket and we have a tag from tag fabrication and that's the paper from Artie Mays uh, one of Artie Mays's ornament kits and a ticket then here we have more Artie Mays paper, little ticket there, and that was just a scrap piece and I just liked it because it had the numbers. Uh, tag fabrication, that's oddment kit and a ticket. So as you can see, that's how the cover is. Okay. Inside, it's just moderately decorated inside. So I have uh, done some little layering up here with mini tags and um, this is from Artie Mays's number label kit, I think, and a ticket. This is a positive quote tag. I used the um, pages from the CPR Torn on Torn kit to make these pockets. That's just some French ephemera from Artie Mays. Uh, it can go in the back there or it can go in there. So you've got space in there to tuck things and that's in there and that there. I've got a tab here and then I made these tags. <clears throat> back them onto some um, designer cardstock. This paper here is from Journal Centric. I don't know what the kits, it's a collage kit. These um, from Artie Mays and so are they. Got a little page there from the old design shop I think. This is from Eva's shop. I think that's the old design shop. Got a pocket there. These are from Artie Mays and that is from one of our oddment kits. Tag fabrication and a old design shop. Another tag that I made. More of the collage paper. Little that doesn't open out but it's just a one two three tuck. A three tuck pocket. And that's some French ephemera from Artie Mays. 
and we have the postcard and a positive quote tag. Plenty of journal space. Again, another one of these and a little bit of glue. This is some French ephemera from Artie Maze. I just inked it up. That is a tag fabrication, a positive quote tag and a postcard. And this is, um, I think that's from one of the oddment kits. Another tag that I made. Here, another pocket, just on a tag, uh, not a tag, a ticket. And this is obviously vintage. This is Artie Mays, Tracy Fox and Artie Mays, the old design shop. Another one of these tags. And a little bit of layering here with a tag, a ticket. It's actually opened there. Again, if you wanted to tuck something in there. And Artie Mays, this is from her letter ephemera kit. And that goes in there. And that's in there, or it could go, oops. Or it could go in there. And that is the back. So that is the journal. Like I said, it took me a couple of days to make that because I'm watching my baby grandson. Um, his mum and dad are on holiday and it's hard work. <laughs> it's hard work looking after a baby and trying to craft. <laughs> but when he's sleeping, I'm having a little bit of craft time. So I um, <clears throat> still have this available in my shop which is um journal i'll put a link to the video below if you want to check that out and then i have one of these left i've sold one um and this one is still available that's the busy bee um journal fabric cover lace um so i'll put the links to them below as well and and then that will be in my shop too so um oh i've managed to get a little bit of time as well to put all my <clears throat> freebies that were on my website they're now on my um coffee shop coffee shop however you want to pronounce it um so i managed to get them on there some of you have probably already got them but now they are on other coffee shop so if you click on that link you'll see what's on there um and thank you to everyone who's bought me a coffee and or paid for freebies um which obviously you don't have to but the option is there and thank you so much for that so if you have any questions just ask and have a good day. Bye.